Hi. <laughs> oh, baby. Here's your pappy. Only one survives. Let the Hunger Games begin. First time. Fuck you. It's so exciting. <laughs> The scenes you just saw were all created using the exact tool I'm about to talk about in this video. And yes, this platform recently released a brand new feature, which means it's still very fresh right now. Because of that, a lot of people have already started posting content made with this feature on TikTok, YouTube, and other social media platforms, and they're pulling in millions and millions of views. So if you stick with me all the way through this video, I'm gonna walk you around this new feature break everything down step by step and show you exactly what it can do for your creations, no matter what you want to use it for. Make sure to give this video a like, comment the word done, and subscribe so you can receive a special document that shows you how to create your own realistic models from scratch. With that being said, stay with me and let's dive right in. So this right here is Higgsfield AI, and this is the tool we're going to be talking about today. As you can see, here's the full interface, and right away you'll notice all the features this platform offers. It has the image section, the video section, the edit tools, the character tools. You can literally use this AI for multi-purpose, day-to-day content creation. But for today's video, we're gonna focus specifically on Cinema Studio, which is a brand new feature that was recently added to this platform. And honestly, just from the intro alone, you've already seen what this tool is capable of. You can see the quality, the realism, the smooth generation, everything looks extremely clean. No weird morphing, no strange glitches, nothing like that. Right here, you can see some images that I personally generated using this tool. You can scroll through them and notice that every single one looks clean, cinematic, and very movie-like. They honestly look like still frames taken straight out of a film. Now, once you've generated your images, if you want to turn them into a movie scene or a short film, for example, content you want to post on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, or anywhere else, you can easily do that. All you have to do is come over here and tap Animate, then set your image as the start frame inside the video section. Over here, you'll see options like Reference and InPaint. The InPaint feature allows you to add or modify elements in the image you generated. If you want multi-shots, you can tap that as well, and the AI will generate different scenes or camera angles using the same image. You'll also see features like skin enhancer, camera angles, relighting, and more. So for this example, we're just gonna tap here and set the image as our start frame. And just like that, it's now locked in. From here, all you need to do is select your camera movement. You can choose things like pan left, pan right, dolly out, zoom in, or zoom out. Personally, I usually go with zoom in or zoom out because it gives a very cinematic feel and looks really smooth. Once you've selected your movement, you can type in any prompt you want. For example, something simple like, everyone moves naturally. You can also add more details depending on what you want the scene to look like. If you want the character to talk, there's a lip sync feature as well. I'll show you exactly how to do that. I even have a special prompt for it that I'll be sharing in my Discord. All you need to do is copy and paste the prompt, remove the words you don't want, and replace them with whatever you want the character to say. Next, you can choose the duration. If you want something short but clean, you can go with five seconds. If you want something longer, you can go with 10 seconds. Here's the audio option. You can turn it on or off depending on whether you want background sound. There's also a slow motion feature, which I usually keep turned off because I prefer a more natural, cinematic motion. One important thing about Cinema Studio is the batch size. This lets you choose how many generations you want the AI to produce at once. You can select two, three, or even four different shots, and then pick the best one. And here's the credit system. As you can see, it only costs about 18 credits to generate something like this, which is honestly very reasonable. I'm not gonna generate this again right now because I've already created similar scenes before, and here's what I ended up with. I'm actually in the process of putting together my own short movie, and as you can see, I already have most of my scenes generated and ready to go. I'll be posting the final result in my Discord, so make sure you join and rate what I created. 
Why haven't you subscribed to Blurfist yet? We are done. I'm sorry, babe. I will do that as soon as we are done. You can clearly see the quality, the skin texture, the bed, the background, the lighting, the motion, everything looks smooth and well-balanced. This tool is honestly delivering, and I highly recommend you try out this feature. And here's the last generation I made. Oh, I hope yeah, you are no, subscribed to Blurfist channel, because I got dumped for it. Yes, I am. Um, I mean, who wants- I, I heard if. We are not subscribed to Blurfist. We want work. Yeah, I heard, and I am subscribed. You can really see the level of detail in both the prompt and the final generation. Everything you've seen so far was created using the same Cinema Studio feature. So without talking too much, I'm gonna go ahead and test a prompt that I already created. I have it ready, so I'm just going to paste it in right here. As you can see, you can also choose your resolution, 1K, 2K, or 4K. Depending on what you choose, the credit cost will increase or decrease. I'm gonna stick with 2K, which is more than enough for me. Now I'll just hit generate and we wait for the image to be created. All right, the generation is in progress. Once it's done, we're gonna convert it into a cinematic video and I'll also show you how to use the lip sync feature. And here we go, the generation is complete. As you can see, the pool, the girl, the hair texture, the realism, the people in the background, even the iPhone, everything is on point. This image honestly looks like a frame pulled straight from a movie. Now we're gonna tap animate and set it as our start frame so we can turn this into a cinematic video. For the movement, I'm gonna go with static this time. Audio is on, so now I'll just paste in my prompt. Once that's done, we simply hit generate again. And just like that, our image is being transformed into a stunning cinematic shot. Now, all we have to do is wait and see what this tool delivers. Based on my experience, I already know this is gonna turn out clean, but let's wait and see. All right, here's the final result. Blurfus has a document of how to create realistic models, and I think you all need it in 2026. I won't say too much, but as you've seen, the result is extremely cinematic. No weird glitches, no broken motion, the background stays consistent, and even the people in the background are moving naturally. That alone shows how powerful this feature really is. So I highly recommend you try out Cinema Studio. It's live right now, and people are already using it to create stunning movies and short clips for TikTok and YouTube, and they're pulling in millions of views. Go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And yeah, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.